Welcome back everyone. Today in this video, we are going to create a sum database in Notion for my upcoming semester. This is a sample as you can see over here. It would be fun though creating database for each subject and creating a perfect template for my choice. I will take you through each and every process one by one which will help you manage everything with a proper database and you can do it for any purpose and not only studies. Let's get started. First of all, I'll go to my home page and in my home page you can see that I have an academic section where I have placed my college and in my college I have got all the years that I'm gonna study so I'm currently in the second year so I'll go in second year and uh, here is the semester that I was talking about so now what I'll do I'll create a, a database for the upcoming semester so for creating a database, what I need to do, suppose I'm having a subject. So for a subject, I want to create a database and the database would be looking like the same that you saw just now. For that, I need to click uh, the right oblique and then I will have to type page. And then you can see here the option comes for embed uh, sub page inside this page. I have to just press enter and here you see you have got all the options present here. I would suggest you all to do this procedure when you are connected to the internet. Else, you won't be able to find all the options which you are able to see here. Now, uh, we'll choose the database options. And as you can see, the very first thing is table. So I'm very well versed with table and this is the most favorite thing that I want to do because it looks legit when you do everything in um, table format. So I'll choose this table and now I have got some of the new options because the notion is updated. Okay. So you can, what you can do, you can select the source of the database you are creating. If I'm going to select any of the database shown here, or if I'll click on this button, show 20 more, I can see all the database that I have created. So I can, if I'm going to click any one of these, then it is going to import all the things that are present in a, that database. But I don't want that. I want to create a new, a fresh database. So I'll have to press this button, the new database option. So I'll just press this and here you go. You have got a new database. Now what will I do? I'll write the subject name over here. Here is a subject name and you can see that we have got some columns over here. So we'll move to that in a later stage. First of all, what we'll do, we'll add a cover. As you can see, when you'll press add cover option, you'll get some default cover options. I don't like this. So what I'll do, I'll just change this cover. You have got a lot of options for this. You can even upload if you want a custom a background picture for yourself but what I like is unsplash so why not to use it uh, you can choose any one of uh, the favorite background covers that you feel like putting on so for the time being I'll choose this and then it will be seen over here now it is being changed and you can even reposition it so I'll just press this reposition button and it will say drag image to reposition so i'll just drag it upwards upwards and then save position so this is how it would be looking like now what i'll do i'll add icon to this thing so suppose if i'm a player then this ball would be significantly good for this subject but i'm not doing that so i'll put a laptop emoji over here after all these things being done we would like to create a different section in a different columns as you can see there are two columns already being given so for my likings what i do that i like to name this column particularly this column as the topic section the topics that are being taught in my classes so in order to change the name of this i need to just click this and here an option comes for rename i have to just click this option and then it will give me a, a drop down menu as you can see over here now what i have to do i have to write title the property name would be title and then i'll press enter as you would see that in each and every column the very first column that you will get in a tabular database the each and every element of this column would be a page yes you got it right 
each and every section in this column that you see or that you will create with this new button will be a page of this column only suppose i'll name this column as first topic and now when i'll press this button open it will open the page so this is what i was talking about you can write the topic names and then you can put in all the pdf all the notes and all the other kind of work things that belong to this topic now to the next thing uh, i would like to keep uh, the next thing is status i'll just press enter and you can see the name of this column is changed to status but what about the type i know that the very first column that i created was of type pages yeah each and every uh, row in the first column is a page but i can manipulate from the second ones from the second column i like to keep the status as the check boxes so i'll just go to type and then i will see there is checkbox so when i tick it so it means that i have completed that topic for myself now moving on forwards there is one more column that i'll be creating and this is for uh, the files and urls or in particularly i keep it as a homework homework section and the type of this would be files and media so what i do whenever i get a homework from this particular topic i used to upload the file and put the link over here on this section as you can see it gave me an option to upload a file over here and in the next column what i like to do is i like to uh, keep the date of teaching or the day of teaching whatever you feel like you can name it so the day of teaching would be a date for me uh, it is like uh, and i mostly prefer the creative time okay what it does that it will tell me that on 17th of march that is today this first topic uh, row was created it means the teacher taught me this topic on this day so it kinds of make my work easy uh, in terms of all the curriculum and over here you can see other calculate options and all and you're good to go now this is how i'm uh, designing the database of a subject right now and i can put in more details in here as the time comes not only this there is a lot more action which can be followed and i would suggest you to go through all the options and explore all the topics available according to need and convenience in this manner we can create database for all the subjects that we want and for reference here are some of the database that i have created for myself as you can see like these ones so you can get inspiration from these and create your own some of them um, in case you want to know how i manage my home page as you can see this one or uh, if you have any other query then feel free to ask in comments hope you like this one see you in the next one